What's going on, everybody? Dan from DNR Sports here. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through the Miami Dolphins the depth chart. Um, today, I'm just going to focus on the offense. I, I don't feel like <clears throat> including much in the defense here. I'll just value the team overall and uh, offensively. Um, so, obviously, they have two uh, coming to a second year now where they had a good first season, um, mainly due to their good coaching and good defensive stout, stout defensive play. Um, but we could clearly see every single game where they got behind last year, Tua was not the man for the job. Um, when Ryan Fitzpatrick was subbed in, he would do wonders. He, he made that, that face mask Hail Mary. Um, he, he was just the gunslinger guy that would get them back in games. Tua... Two only had five picks last year in um, let's see how many games he played. Five picks, 11 TDs, 1,800 yards, 52 QBR. Um, he only played in 10 games, but in 10 games, 11 TDs, yeah, that's um, that's terrible. I know he didn't start in all these games. Um, I know a lot of them either he got benched or came on, but the QBR, you know, doesn't get determined by by that, so it, it, like his QBR was terrible. His interceptions was obviously fine because he was playing very safe, as you can tell by his TDs and yards being horrible. Um, I think that this year, like, you you can't go any further down than where you were last year to it. Everyone saw it. Everyone's like, what the heck is that? The same quarterback from Alabama? Um, granted, he's coming back. He came back from an injury, right? His hip got all messed up the season before. Um, it always takes like that that year to come back from one of those big type of injuries. He almost was never able to play again, so I definitely see that. Um, now, when we look at the pieces around him, it's like if Tua fails, you, you just gotta assume he's bad at this point because like it's it's Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, and Jalen Waddle at receiver with uh, like Lynn Bowden, Jakeem Grant, Preston Williams, Alan Hearns, Albert Wilson, like like some actually strong backups, right? Mike Gusecki at tight end. Miles Gaskin at running back. Miles Gaskin is like fine. He's not a stud. I'm not gonna say he's a stud, but he's he's a good running back, solid. Mike Kosecki in the top half of tight ends, and then those receivers, like especially with Jakeem Grant and Albert Wilson just being super speedy and super tricky, like this offense, um, because I you know how fast Waddle and Fuller are. They're like some of the fastest players in the league. There's just four guys that run probably four like four point threes. Um, I said four point threes. What have I ever said four point three? Four threes. 40 yards. Um, bunch of speed on this team. Now, I think they're going to do a lot of end-around type trick plays. Um, but I want to see if Tua can can step into that, like, just gunslinger. I know that's not his college profile. Like, he, came, he was coming out more like a Drew Brees type thing. But with all that speed on your team, I don't see how you don't try to emulate, like, a like a Josh Allen or a Pat Mahomes where you're just like, you're just ripping it, man. Like these guys are just going to be burning cornerbacks. Like, and they're not just speedy, terrible guys. Like, I mean, Albert Wilson and Jakeem Grant kind of are, but <clears throat> Waddle and Fuller actually have like real skill. And then Devontae Parker's a nice big six, three, just deep threat that just has nasty hands. Like he's a good, good deep threat. I remember two years ago with Ryan Fitzpatrick, he looked like the top 12 receiver. Um, in my opinion, Fuller, like, if he was healthy, if he didn't get injured all the time or suspended, he would be a top 12 receiver. I think Fuller is so, so talented, and he's only missing, I think it's one game suspension, so which isn't bad at all. But basically the gist of this is Tua cannot fail with these weapons. The only way I could see this failing is if, if, is if they emulate what the Giants always do. They have The Giants always have Barkley, now they have Galladay, they always had Slayton and, and Odell and Sterling and Tate and all these just disgust, Evan Ingram, like all these really, really talented players. But the O-line has been garbage every single year. Um, like, I I'm kind of worried about that again. So basically, Miami ranked 28th last year, offensive line ranking uh, by PFF. And it was because they had a lot of new people, right? They made a lot of investments in improving their offensive line. But coming to this year, the 30th, um, PFF basically says in this long spiel out paragraph that they're very young. They have three sophomores, at least three sophomores on the line, could be more. Um, and it's basically the 30th because they were bad last year, but hopefully they improve. <laughs> um, obviously O-line, you need chemistry and you need just time. O-line, it's one of the hardest positions to just walk into the NFL and be good at, right? You can't, it's not like, it's not like a, uh, like what's the easiest position? Probably honestly, probably running back. Like there's been some really, really disgusting running backs coming into the NFL. Um, being like a tight end and an O-line is pretty tough when you got to block against some of the, like, you know, Khalil Mack, did you watch? Um. But anyways, 
basically the 30th, but with a lot of room to improve. And if these second year players do actually take the jump, then if, if Tua can even have a top like 15 O line by the end of this year, that's, that's basically what like, you know, Breeze has had his whole career, the top 10 type O line where he's able to dink and dunk all the way down the field using Michael Thomas and Kamara and Marquis Colston and all these like trick, trick type plays. I feel like that's gotta be how, how they run this offense, but with a little extra, like, 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 you know how Saints never really used the Traquan or the, the, the Harris aspect or like these four, three runners, these speedsters, Breeze really kind of let them out or left them out of the team. Um, I feel like this offense is going to have the, the Devontae Parker's sort of like Michael Thomas. Like, I mean, obviously he's not as good, but um, they have like the Will Fullers and the, and, and, and the Waddles to be like that tricky type of receiver that like the, tra- the Traquan Smith is. So I feel like the, this offense... If coached correctly, which honestly Brian Flores has been doing a great job of, if coached correctly, um, I think could could do some some damage. I don't think they're going to be insane, just solely because they don't have that much faith in Tua. Um, but I think like all the pieces are there. If the O line steps up, Tua can Tua can be average and be seen as good. If that makes any sense, like he he, he could be helped by his team. Um, I think combining with that defense, which is Probably, probably still top 14-ish defense, maybe even higher um, on a points-per-game basis and a takeaway basis because of Xavier Howard. But I, I still see this team being worse than the – obviously worse than the Bills. Not, there's no, there's not nearly the upside with the Dolphins as there is the Bills. Um, and I feel like the Patriots are going to give them a hard time. I feel like they're relatively close to the Patriots, though, in the aspect of they can get like 9 to 10 wins. Um, they're going to be like a very hard team to play, but they'll lose a lot of close games, I think. Um, obviously winning some close games too. I, I think Miami, honestly, Miami and the Patriots might have the most like games lost or won by less than a TD. They're just like that type of team where their offenses aren't like amazing, but their defenses are just solid and nicely coached. Um, they just happen to be playing in the same division. So in conclusion, average, just slightly better than average team with a lot of talent at the receiver position. And we just have to see what Tua makes of it. If he can return to Alabama form, this could be nuclear. I just that rookie season really hurt seeing how how Fitz could just walk in there and be the old gunslinger we love, and like Tua sees that and just still plays super super passive and can barely break 200 yards some games. So I'm gonna leave it there, boys. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Um, sub if you're new around here. Turn post news on to catch everything. Leave a comment. I'm sure the Miami fans won't be loving my reaction. I'm sure they want they want me to be like, oh, Tua's the best. Tua's the best. But after last season, you can't say that. So. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right